guys, this is the difference between our African parents of the old times and we, the new set of parents. So this is a typical example of my dad and my mom taking you on the main road, like trying to make you cross. They'll tell you to look up, look down, look sideways, look spiritually, in fact, open your inner eyes and look before you cross. And even when you cross, you run as if your life depends on it. You understand? In case there are no more so that you'll be, you'll be able to know what to do with yourself. That's why they just teach you all these things. And it's really important for kids to learn these things when they're young from their parents. But now, take a look at our new parents. Our Mawobe. <laughs> look at what they're doing. They don't even look at the kids. They're not even, they just abandon him and allow him to do whatever he wants most of the time. They believe that children can raise themselves and it's not supposed to be like that. Our parents need to feel our impasse now that they are alive. So when they go, we won't, we won't stray from what they've taught us. Just look at this. The boy could have gotten hit by a car because they didn't even teach him how to cross the road properly. It's another example of how the former African parents, like our own parents, how they treat us when we're in school. They take us to school, they walk with us, they tell us things to do, they tell us not to be insulted to our peers. But this is our generation. <laughs> Most of the time, they even sit in the house and wait for their kids to go out and look for things for them and come home and give them. That's not how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to train our children, not the other way around. Look at this other wonderful example. It's a situation where a mother puts her money in her bag and then the father comes and sees the money. Maybe he needs money, he wants to take money from his wife, but before he touches her money, he goes to her in the presence of the child. Though, he goes to her and asks her, okay, can I borrow your money? And then she'll be like, yeah, you borrow, you will not give, but go and take Sha. Sha, you will pay me interest too, as usual now. You guys know how women are. And then the man comes, takes the money while, you know, playing with his child. And even when he takes the money, he would make it known that, okay, he's not taking this money behind his wife. He still even finds time and talks to his son and say that, you know what, don't take anybody's property. Even when I'm no more, don't ever take money. Even if it's from your wife, from, from anybody, don't touch anybody's money without their consent. That is stealing. But parents of nowadays, <laughs> at the end of the day, self, they just... In fact, most of the time, it's the kids that raise themselves because they don't even tell them the values and things that they should uphold and the things they should discard. You know, see the way the father is looking, trying to monitor if the wife is looking. When he sees that, ah, almost she has loose guard like this, he'll just quickly go there, grab the one that he wants to grab, shake his, in fact, <laughs> hail the child and call him some sort of funny names. Just do a move to him and tell him to chop knuckle, you get. And then he will steal the money and go. What kind of example do you think that kind of child is learning from that parent? The man doesn't even have to ask him to do anything or not to do anything. But after he has seen his dad sneaking around, stealing money from his mother's bag, what do you expect him to do as a child? He will follow the footsteps of his parents now. Now look at that. He just looked to see the father is gone. The mother is nowhere to be found. Oh my boy has carried his own. This is how children learn. It's not everything you tell them. Another example of how our parents were with us when they were raising us in the other times was the fact that if we ever even caught our dad drinking alcohol, they wouldn't even want to drink in our presence and would want it. They would tell us not to drink it and to go meet our mothers that were drinking mineral or maybe something else for children that's not good for us. They'll push us to go. And then when we get to our mother's side, they might even hit ourselves for wanting to even drink alcohol in the first place. But that's not what we're talking about. The thing is, the mother will not start telling, telling you as a child, why would you even want to drink alcohol? You are not old enough. Take this one that is for a child. That's what you should drink and not the other way around. But looking at the way these generation parents are, irresponsibility is their watchword. word. Like most of them don't even care about drinking responsible. First of all, you're not even supposed to be opening a child up that is not up to 18 to things that are not meant for them like alcohol right now are not good for children that are below the age of 18 but these parents don't even care look at him even making doing as if he wants to go and smoke and they can even do it in the presence of the children not even minding what those ones are learning or whatever is not good for them look at him wishing he can drink it longer throats don't they enter in eye like that I bet you when they leave he's going to try and experiment because that's what children do they always want to find out that thing and what it makes or whatever it will teach them so now they have gone now look at the child quickly he will go and check if they are there or not and then he will go and say okay i want to try it look at it now this is where it starts from 
we need to be more careful with the way we raise our kids with this our generation we need to be more attentive and more present for our children okay so guys this is it though the difference between the former um, African parents and the new generation African parents we should try to do more we should do better with our kids that's all that they need from us children learn from you you might think they're not watching you but trust me they're looking at everything that you do so we should do better and raise our kids more thank you for coming to my TED talk bye till next time okay you have finished watching the video now you want to swipe you have not even liked though you have not commented you have not even said ah let me even subscribe but you just want to swipe it's not, it's not good though you are the part you are part of the new generation that we are talking about you better change your ways change your ways please like and subscribe to the youtube channel thanks